Ready? Hi guys, I'm Jay from Jay's Everyday Fashion. Welcome to my closet. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you guys here today. The number one request I get is what does your closet look like and how is it organized? So come on in. So first things first, I live in Orlando, Florida. I lived in Boston for four years and I kid you not, my closet was this big. You couldn't even hang the hangers the right way. They had to be facing you. The minute I saw this closet, I was like, where do I sign? When I come into my closet to create an outfit, there's a few different ways that I like to come up with something to wear. Honestly, a lot of times I pick my shoes first because they're the most practical part of your outfit. Or if I know that it's cold and I definitely need to wear a coat, then I'll start with that. So I kind of start with the most practical first. A lot of times I'll just pick a color or a print that I'm just really craving to wear. So I might come in and say, I just really feel like wearing leopard print today, or I really feel like wearing bright blue. Just pick out those pieces and see what I can come up with. In my opinion, every good closet is a mix of both the basic and the sizzle pieces. I'm more drawn to sizzle pieces like this, a fun polka dot shirt. But you also need the basics, like a black blazer. This alone is a little too sizzly, this alone is a little too boring. Put them together to make a good outfit. When I'm shopping and when I'm in my closet, I try to create a balance between both the basic and the fun. So this is the main part of my closet. I have a ton of stuff hanging up. I try to hang up as much as possible because I really like to be able to see it. I like to have things in categories. So I've got my dresses. These are all my cardigans right here. Love a cardigan. T-shirts, blouses, sleeveless blouses, long sleeve blouses. I need more coffee. <laughs> Collared shirts, more sweaters, and finally blazers and jackets. This hot little number is just waiting for the perfect night out. Mid green, I've got one that's green python, hot pink, blue, yellow, olive green, bright red. I have tried a million different ways to organize my belt, but this has been so far the best way I have found. I've got all my skinny and colorful belts in here, and then I've got my thicker, and most neutral belts in here. This leather jacket was my big splurge this year. I had to do a rock and roll moment this year before I get to death. So this dress I got from an online boutique called The Unique Closet. Pippa Middleton was wearing this exact same dress a few months after I posted it on my blog and she wore it in the exact same way I styled it. So Pippa, if you're watching, big fan. Thanks for wearing the same dress. Love it. <laughs> Thicker sweaters. Hold it up here. Since I live in Florida, I don't wear them too much, but I like to have them out where I can see them. Polka dot dresses. This plaid one I've had for like eight years. It's stuck right now. Well, plaid came back in style this year, so I'm so excited that I don't have And then my boots are over there. And the rest of my shoes are all underneath on two big racks. Not technically shoe racks, but they hold a ton of shoes. I love them. And I've got some sneakers that they hold up on the side. I consider this not to be a heel. I know it has a heel on it. This is a flat. <laughs> this is also a flat. <laughs> I mean, I, I love all my shoes. How do you choose? It's like choosing your favorite child. I love all of them equally. Guys, I don't, I kind of don't know what I was thinking when I got these. I mean, I, I like love them and hate them at the same time. You know what I mean? I have a few, I just ordered a few pairs of Piper on their other way. <laughs> then I have to make room somehow. Somebody's gonna get the boot, I think. The boot. Pun intended. <laughs> this is probably my favorite part of my closet because I'm kind of obsessed with big necklaces, obviously. I've got four bubble necklaces now. I've got two of these puppies, two giant orange necklaces. Who needs that, but I do. These are my newest ones, neon pink and neon blue. This is probably my all-time favorite fancy statement necklace. And I wear this one constantly. My black fringe rock and roll. Goes great with my black leather jacket, you know. Oh, and this is what I call my flavor flav necklace. It's humongous. And it looks kind of like a beetle, but I'm just telling you, it's just necessary, you know? A little bit of an obsession. I love pendants, so I love giant pendants. Also kind of looks like a deer antler, but let's just call it white coral. The dream catcher from H&M. These are neon beads. I like to double these up and wear it with a bathing suit because they're waterproof. And I always have to have a necklace on, so if you want to borrow one? Because I got plenty. 
and I love it because it also kind of acts as decoration and spruces up the place. Next I have this organizer I just got and it has, you know, my clutches at the top, beach bags, winter items like scarves and gloves and hats at the bottom. And I keep my few purses that I use the most often in rotation up here so I can get to them really easily. Clutches, let's just be real. I like them in every color of the rainbow. Sequins, must have for the holidays. Brown. This, kind of the color of a Smurf, but I absolutely, this is definitely one of my favorites. Black, basic black, I use all the time. This greenish one, just a yellow one. This is my favorite. Clutch, because it's a crossbody. This is like, reminds me of the ocean or something. Here's a turquoise one. They're all here. The whole family is here. Got every color of the rainbow. And now I can see all of it. I call this area the bullpen. This is where I keep newer items that I want to remember to wear, but then also things I need to photograph. I got my hamper, my laundry basket. You guys caught me on laundry day, so please just pass it. Over here are things that I need to alter. I'm gonna change the buttons on this jacket. My steamer. When I moved in, I decided to put a dresser in here. It's more convenient to have all of my bottoms in here. I've got my pencil skirts, my colored jeans, my regular jeans. And I also have kind of a jewelry station going on. So I hung two more racks up here from Target that are meant for keys, but I put more delicate necklaces here. And I have my jewelry box, which has got earrings and brooches. It's just nice to have all the things that I'm inspired by in one place. This is the contents of my bottom drawer. All my colored skinny jeans, black, tie-dye, camel, plaid, lots of different colors. I'm still looking for mint. This is the contents of my second to the last drawer, which is skirts and mostly pencil skirts. I think I have even more colors than the skirts that I do skinny jeans. These are the contents of my shorts drawer. You might say, Jay, why do you have so many shorts? One, I live in Florida. Two, I just love shorts. This is my stack of denim shorts. I've got every color of the rainbow. These are, you know, black dressy shorts. I got olive shorts, and then a bunch of fun prints. I got all these last summer. This is the contents of my last drawer. It's a mix of jeans, cargo pants. So I've got a few pairs of Armistyle cargo pants, gray skinnies, white skinnies. These are all blue skinnies, and these are all non-skinnies. So I've got flares, 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 three pairs of flares. Bella, Bella, come here. All right, guys, that's my closet. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed getting a look around at what I have to work with on a day-to-day -day basis.